What that means is you can do some really awesome water techniques, which is what I love to do. So you can splash water on there, create some really cool resist techniques, and do some really cool watercoloring with it as well. I watercolored lots of the images you see on that board with the inks, which is really cool. Um, and then they also stamp really well. So what, what sets them apart from other inks is that they stamp super nicely. So sometimes it's a little bit difficult to get the water-based inks to stamp super nicely, mm -hmm. but they did a really great job at making sure they're going to work really well with the stamps. Which is what I wanted. I wanted kind of a go-to basic ink for anybody to have on their desk at all times and just mm -hmm. be able to stamp with them and, and ink and do whatever kind of cards and techniques they want. So um, I named them really fun things. These are these two are after my dogs, so it's Gur and Woof. Yeah. One dog <laughs> like, like, way too much when he's uh -huh. happy or sad. Uh -huh. And one dog is just a little barker. So I named them these two after them and you got colors anywhere from bee sting to slippery when wet. So it's just oh, really nice. fun color names that mm -hmm. I love to name. So I'm going to move these off to the side and then we can kind of go into stamps and then I'll go into a technique at the end too. So these are the clear stamp sets. These are 6 by 9 stamp sets. They're clear photopolymer made in the USA stamps. So they're yeah. really high quality for card making and different projects you want to do so they'll stamp really nicely every time which was really important to me mm -hmm. to make sure that quality was there and, and Ranger too. They really love it. <laughs> yeah, so, so I drew these four stamp sets which I really love them and um, yeah. I wanted to make sure they were really versatile as well. So they're all kind of for scene building and, and different things like that and they're all really cute too. They give a fun new fresh fresh look. So this first one is called Space Trending. So it's got okay. these different images in it, these four little characters here. And they can stamp right inside this astronaut helmet right here. So you can make that a focal point of the card. I have it on a little action wobbler over there. Okay. And then you can also stamp this little one and maybe make it a fish tank or, or put the little bird in it like he's flying in space. Now I also have these little letters at the top and they don't spell anything when it's in the package. Mm -hmm. um, everybody's been asking me what word that is. <laughs> it's not a word. They're all separate. So what you can do is take letters out put them on your craft sheet, pick them up with an acrylic block, and make your own phrases. So, mm -hmm. it's a mess here. I don't even know where I put them. Oh, right here, in plain sight. So I uh, did You've Got This. So I cut apart that little right in between there. So you can either use You've Got This, the small version, or yeah. cut right there, and then you know use You with the big letters, and then Got This to kind of complete that message. And then you've also got all these little sentiments that coordinate with different words you can make. So you could do, you know, you are something, hello, um, really some cool phrases you can make with that. But I wanted to make sure with all these sets you can use the images, you can use parts of the images whether you want to use the space or just these by themselves or just the letters by themselves to create a really sophisticated look. Mm -hmm. This one is Different Bears. This is so much fun. This is called Bestest Friends. Different Bears, this little guy is kind of the mascot for the line, so he's on all the packaging too, to show yes. you how to use the stamps on the back there. Oh, cute. Um, so we got two little guys there in different positions, and then two little, um, a boy and a girl as well. So you can stamp little cakes, or whether you're into coffee, or an umbrella for them to hold, or a banner, um, or different flowers. You got all those to create a fun scene there, as well as fun mm -hmm. sentiments that coordinate along with them. So this one is called Trampoline Friends. I've had this one drawn out since I was 11. And so seeing it come to life five years later is really awesome. Yeah, 16. 16. Mm -hmm. And you so have cool. your own line. You rock. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. So awesome. Thank you so much. So yeah, this is Trampoline Friends. Um, the trampoline has a really cool texture in it. It's going to stamp like that no matter what with that fun net texture in it, mm -hmm. which is super cool. And then I've got these fun little critters that are jumping. And um, you know you can make them jump on the trampoline or put little different um, interactive elements in there to really yeah. make them come to life. I got that little bird who looks like he's scared for his life. And then a uh, little squirrel doing a backflip, which I just love. Too cute. <laughs> now you can use this treat in, com in conjunction with the trampoline and create a cool scene. Mm -hmm. Or you can use it by yourself and create a really cool kind of more sophisticated look. Again, you can kind of use them mm -hmm. you know, however you want, which I really like. And this last one is definitely needed in our industry. I designed this one um, and really loved how it came out. Uh -huh. So instead of kind of having that grunge look, which are, is definitely in our industry and there's a time and place for that, but I wanted that clean and simple look, which is kind of a masculine feel to it. So um, instead of having to put, you know, a screwdriver on your nephew's birthday card, <laughs> yeah. you can now stand on the little critters. <laughs> yeah, I know. So you got those three little heads in there and three different bodies. You can kind of mix them up and put little things in their hands with the little screwdriver. You can do your driving me crazy and different things like that. Um, or I made you a dude, I made you a card. You know, you've got awesome little sentiments like that to kind of mix Too and match cute. and customize the guy you create on your card. Very cute. And then I have different stamps as well. So these were made by Stampers Anonymous with Ranger. And um, they did a really great job at making sure the quality was there when they were making these stamps. So they're red rubber, which is always awesome for background stamps. They're mm -hmm. going to stamp perfectly every time. And then this is printed on there, which is exactly what I wanted. So yes. when you have that on there, it's not just a gray background. You don't know what the stamp is. Yeah. You know exactly what this is going to be. Perfect. So when you're flipping through your um, stash, which we all know we have a lot of stamps, you can find exactly which one you want when you need it.
So I've got flower garden, classic flannel, we have painted lines, and I have splinter. So there's lots of cool things you can do with these. I wanted to make sure they were mm -hmm. six by six too, because I'm not gonna force somebody to put their lines vertically. I want you to be able to do it vertically or horizontally. And with some of these, you can do some really cool things too. Mm -hmm. So with these um, painted lines, you can stamp the lines just straight up and down, or stamp it sideways, or you can stamp them both and do a grid pattern. Mm -hmm. so you can do Very some really nice. cool things with that. This one's a cool wood grain. I just, I just love that one. It's definitely a basic to have, really awesome. And I stamp those all the time for backgrounds on craft card stuff mm -hmm. or things like that. This one's called Classic Flannel, and it bugs me at first that this wasn't even, but it's actually like that for a reason, because you know you can stamp it once here, you can stamp it there, yeah. stamp it there, and stamp it there, and create a cool scrap of page with it. Easy and then this is just up. awesome. I love this one, too. It's nice mm -hmm. and bold and graphic, and it's really great for doing watercolor backgrounds and techniques. Awesome. And you we even have, have your bear on your shirt. Yeah. <laughs> it's not mine, but it's a nice little bear there. I love it. <laughs> Coordinates. So then we have different stencils for the line as well. And I wanted to make sure these are going to work really well with all the stamps. So these first two one. are looks like rain and stargazer. Mm -hmm. And these are going to work really nicely with those. So we've got a space themed set and we also have different things that kind of coordinate with the rain like the umbrella. So I wanted to bring out these to kind of create scenes. And they're also kind of good for mixed media too. So you can bring them into you know, different things than just card making. Now this one is a flower builder stencil. So what's cool about this one is it's like a stamp layering stencil. I was really inspired by stamp layering and I love it. But with stamp layering, you can only do one color. Like you can do different colors, but it's a solid image. So I wanted to make sure you could do this. You can add shading to it and add different colors in the same stencil. So here's three different flowers you can create with it. And there's Very lots of different cool. leaves in there as well. You just layer them up, quickly throw some ink through it, or in this case, throw some texture paste through it. Over there I did some watercolor through it, and you can see that it looked like I painted that on the hay card over there. It looks like mm -hmm. I hand painted it, which I do not have that kind of talent, so <laughs> I did not. <laughs> and then I have this um, uh, backsplash stencil. So this one's really awesome. It's got those fine lines in it for that design. It really reminded me of a backsplash, so mm -hmm. I love using it on those cards. It's really delicate, so you can use it along with some of the flower images that I have in the line. Mm -hmm. And then last but not least, we have the Stark White cardstock. So this is a really great card stock. It takes the ink really well. It's a really nice bright white for card making and it's 110 pounds, so it's a really good weight. You know, it comes in eight and a half by 11 sheets, but I wanted to do that so that you can cut it down to however you want it. So whether you want to use the full page or you want to cut it down to top folding cards, side folding cards, or card panels, you can do whatever you want. You're not limited to just having one pack of top folding cards, which those are great too, but you know, having that flexibility is really great. Absolutely. Okay. You want to see a fun technique as well? Yes. Okay. What would you like to? What, what are you guys most interested in? I kind of want to see your inks again. I okay. cut the tail yeah. end of it a minute ago, and Definitely. I would love to see them in action. Awesome. So do you want to see kind of a clean blended background or, or kind of a mixed media? I like I that one. Okay. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. So it, it'll take a little bit longer because we're gonna do some ink blending, but it's worth it. It is worth it. It's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. So this is this color is called Beasting. I'm gonna go on here with the Ranger Mini Ink okay. Blending Tool. And I'm just going to add some ink onto the blending tool and start on my cardstock. Now I tested tons of cardstocks and this one was definitely by far the best for inks because it works super nicely, it takes that ink and really takes that color well and really saturates the cardstock, which is exactly what you need. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go into here, I'll add some colors and I add them into three different places on the card. That way it's going to, you know, kind of ground the image and really create a cool look and it kind of continues the colors throughout the whole card. How many ink colors do you have? So there's 12 different ink colors in the line, yeah. And they're really kind of bright, bold colors, so they go along with kind of the playful look of the line, which is awesome. They all have super cute names. I know. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sonia. I sat down one day and I was like, these are, we, gotta, we gotta find some names for these, and Gur and Wolf are my two favorites for my two dogs. That is cute. <laughs> so then I'm going in with Slippery When Wet, and um, I'm gonna blend it over top of that red. And you can see that right in between that, you get a nice orange color. So mm -hmm. since they're translucent, you get those mm -hmm. cool colors in between. And what's nice about that is you can make your other colors on your background. So if you don't have a ton of inks and, you know, if your customers come in and they want, you know, three different colors, you know, I'm going to go in with another color too that's going to work really well with these. And you can kind of tell them those three colors and then if they want to come back then and, and try new colors, they can definitely do that. But they're going to love how they work then. And they got lots of flexibility with those three. So I'm going in then. I'll blend it on here. Trying to go quick. <laughs> That's okay, take your time. We're just enjoying the process. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's three, um, 
and then I'm gonna go in with Clear Skies, and this is a really nice bright blue color, I absolutely love it. Um, and I'm just going to take this and kind of blend it into here as well. So you can see over top of that yellow, it creates a green color, which is mm -hmm. awesome. And then over top of the red, it's gonna create a nice purple color. So these three colors are great to create backgrounds. They work really nice, and if you wanna do, you know, watercolor backgrounds too, where you're kind of spraying the color and adding it onto the paper, it's not gonna make mud either, which is really great. So if you've got beginners then, it's really great to teach them to use those three colors and to get really cool colorful backgrounds like that. Mm -hmm. So I'm doing a live video right now mm -hmm. and everyone is saying how excited they are for you. Awesome, yeah I'm so excited. It's going to be awesome and I cannot wait to get the hands, and you know, the products in the hands of all the creators. It's going to be so cool to see what what you all do with it, which is so cool. When are you guys um, starting to ship for customers? Really good okay, so everything is starting to ship in February, so okay. then it'll be available then. Okay. You know, rush um, to go get it. <laughs> I cannot wait to see you know all your projects on Instagram and things like that. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna go in with triple berry too. This is a really bold purple color. All of them are really bold. I keep saying that, but it really is. It's but they bright. Are. Yeah. But they're bright. Yeah. And I'm just gonna go in here. I'm I'm just taking my time to kind of blend in here. You could obviously get, you know, go back and forth between the colors too to get a really smooth blend. But I'm just gonna go in and lay down some color just because we're gonna we're gonna kind of pick off that color in just a second. So I'm just filling the rest of the space in with purple. Awesome. So next I'm gonna go in with this flower garden background stamp. So this is super cool. I love that the lines are all dark. There's not, it's not like a fine line image, so you don't have to color it in, which is great, because this would take hours to color in. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in here with my mister. I'm just gonna spray that down. You want a nice fine mist, and then I'm going to put my piece of cardstock ink side down right into that mist. I'm just going to touch every area that you want it to. You don't want to press down too hard because then that's going to squeeze the water into areas you don't want it. So this is going to keep that detail just touching it to there. And then look, you can already see it starting to react. It's just beautiful. Look, everyone's like, so yeah. Enhance. And you know, once it keeps drying, it continues to lift off that color too. And it just creates a beautiful background. So throw down a sentiment, throw it on one of the critter images, and you get a really cool card once you're done. I really love how it looks. So um, we did this on the packaging too. Around here, you see that lighter color. Mm -hmm. That's what it looks like when it's watered down. So, gotcha. since they're water-based inks, we want to just show that too. So you get kind of two colors in one almost. It's really, really kind of a cool ink. It's really cool. Yeah. yeah. It's beautiful. Thank you so much. <laughs> That's gorgeous. That's great. 